guys, so productive morning so far. I uh, got my passport renewed. Um, been setting up meetings for today. I've got two meetings today, one in seven minutes and then one later on today. Still need to confirm the time because there's a time zone difference since a client from Australia. Um, this one is confirmed in seven minutes, so I'll probably try and record that as well. Uh, other than that, just been doing a lot of behind the scenes work, you know, a lot of like back end stuff for the business, trying to keep that structure in place. Uh, other than that, I just thought, you know what, let's just do like an old school vlog type of video where I just basically just show you guys like what's going on in my day. A little behind the scenes work, even got the ring light set up again, which I haven't done in a while. Uh, so, you know, it's serious when the ring light's set up. Um, like I said, just trying to show you guys like what, what goes on. Um, got quite a few questions about people saying, I uh, got a quite a few people requesting like the old school vlogs again. They say like as much as they enjoy and appreciate the informational videos, the sort of out of vlog that just makes it entertaining to watch. And it's just interesting to see how people get up to, uh, you know, anything to do. And especially because now I own a business, but I still run it from my my own house, you know, my bedroom. You know, people just want to know what, how is that, how does it work, how does it go. But basically, all I do, I can't actually show my screen just now because I've got a uh, strategy for the client set up that's like confidential. Uh, but basically, I work from my laptop or my iMac, you know, whatever's easiest when I'm downstairs or when I'm traveling, I use my uh, laptop and otherwise I use my dad's iMac. It's not actually mine, it's my dad's iMac. Um, and that's also where like, I don't do as much content creation anymore, but when I used to do content creation, I used to do all my editing on the iMac as well. Now I mainly focus on like Facebook ads um, and social media management and even the management part. Like we now have a team in place, so I don't actually do the, the, the graphics or anything like that myself. We've got a team that are much better, like much more uh, qualified to do it than I am. So they do the graphics and all I do is uh, basically focus on like the structure of the business, focus on uh, scalability, sustainability, and uh, I basically also stay in contact with the clients and come up with like new ideas or fresh ideas to stay like ahead of the curve. Like if there's a new development in terms of like Facebook ads or if there's new developments in the whole like, digital marketing sphere, then it's my job to get on top of that, see how we can use that and leverage that to get new clients or get better results for the existing clients. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna take five minutes just to go over like all the notes that I've got for this meeting. Um, it's not gonna be a very high ticket client, low ticket client, um, but it's a client that's, uh, I'm gonna actually, fa it's a Dutch, Dutch company, but I'm not actually sure if the client's Dutch or English. But anyway, because it's a Dutch company, you know, it's always good to have Dutch companies on the portfolio because I am in the Netherlands. Um, so whether it's, you know, I'm gonna offer them my lowest uh, package, uh, which will be anywhere between 600 and 800 a month for just management. Gonna obviously aim to, to upsell them, but you know, I'll take, um, I'll take this client on a low ticket package if needed, just to build up the portfolio and just to get more, um, Exposure and awareness in the Netherlands, basically. Okay, enough rambling on. Rambling on. I'm gonna prepare, drink me coffee, and see you guys in a bit. Hey George, how are you doing? Hi Hannah, how are you? I'm alright, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, great. Okay. Um, but when I start to look at some of the the data around uh, both the Instagram the website and Facebook, I can kind of see that our audience and who we think our audience is, isn't the audience that uh, I think we need to keep the business alive. So, and that's what I think we lack. Yeah, but even that, like, like as you mentioned, uh, 24 to 54 and male, like, we can still work within that. Uh, that's mm -hmm. fine. At least, at least uh, by, by you mentioned that, at least we've, we've got a sort of an idea of who to focus on. Um, what I also noticed is that your website has not got um, a Facebook pixel. Do you know what that is? Uh, no. Okay, so basically, uh, okay, so what, what we can what we can do is um, we can focus on the ads part and, and the growth part. So really focus on the Facebook ads, and then we can sort of have like a, a sort of like collaboration going in terms of the management. So you you keep ownership, but you don't have to spend all your time doing it. Yeah. And, no, we can work on that as well. That sounds good. Well, and I think uh, that's all the questions that I've, I've got. Um, just, uh, yeah, waiting for your proposal and, and please make sure you let me know what you need from me in terms of uh, content or budget or whatever uh, to make sure that we can get this successful. That would be good. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. I'll WhatsApp you my email address as well. Just in yeah. case you've got any more questions. In the meantime, okay. you can send me them and I'll be happy to answer them. And yeah, I'll get that uh, proposal uh, strategy sent over as soon as possible. George, and let's speak to you soon. Okay, Hannah, have a nice day. Cheers, you too. Bye-bye. Goodbye.
Alright guys, that was the meeting done. I I can't believe I said it, and I don't know why I said it, but while we were in the conversation, I said, do you want me to send you a proposal? And it's just the easiest way to sort of like get a no, because when you give them a proposal, like they've sort of got the power in their hands. They've got, they can decide do they want to take this or not. And like when, to close a client, it's easiest to close a client on the call. You know, the best way to get a client on board is to get like the, the payment uh, sorted there and then get all the passwords, you know, all stuff like that, do it all on the call because that is when they're most eager. And that is when the, I wouldn't say vulnerable, but that is that is the, like when the, when they are emotionally involved. And obviously after the call, you know, when they've had time to think about it, you know, they might think, oh, you know, not sure about this. Or when they see like the, the numbers or when you see the rates like on paper and you have a good time to think about it then there's a bigger chance of them saying no obviously like we haven't got a harsh rate or anything like i said i was going to offer the lower package because um i have sort of looked into the business and they won't be able to afford like a, a, an extremely high rate um it's just a small um gin distillery uh, but again I, I said it i was like oh fuck, why did i say that like I, but anyway, uh, you know, it's not, 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 it's not like lost or anything like that. I just need to send a proposal. I send our rates, what I can do for them, uh, just like what results they can expect from us, and then we can move forward from there. But again, you know, I, I like the direct close. I don't like um, sending proposals after the phone call because I know, you know, that that is where they fall off like more often than not. Anyway, um, I'm gonna like start working on that proposal now. I've got to tell them so. Um, Working on the proposal, I've got another call later today, like I said, I'm not really sure what time. Um, other than that, just be working away on my laptop. Might get a little workout in later today. Probably won't film that, probably keep this more like business because I've noticed that I've been talking quite a lot. So I think that this video will be long enough without it. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. and that's all we focused on for like a good month yeah well sometimes you need months like that just to, uh you know get amazing results and then take a breather and then from there you can start smashing it again yeah that was exactly it and now we're just going ham on like the uh the outreach like literally every way possible you're, you're doing a high ticket but you're earning them so much money back as well which is good yeah and like i know some other people who are doing like real estate and then they take a percentage of the commission on top of like a four thousand dollar retainer so like just got off the phone with fellow digital marketer quentin chad from canada and uh basically we just like every so often we just call you know like uh catch up on like whatever we're doing but also like give each other like tips and advice on like how to handle certain situations it's just good to like think with like-minded people, you know, bounce ideas off each other, just see like, you know, what would you do in this situation, and then, you know, from there you get your own little idea, and then, you know, you, you go from there. Also, I've been looking at uh, flights to Toronto, just to see if we can actually, like, organise another little meet-up, because obviously he came to London last time, so that's going to be happening soon as well. Uh, by the way, guys, have I ever actually given you, like, a sort of, like, room tour or office tour? i uh, give you it now, just quickly. Knowledge Nook, uh, book I'm reading now is The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, uh, recommended by Brandon C. Uh, if you go over here, you've got bed, and then you've got the office space desk here. This is where the magic happens. Ring lights if you want to record anything. Uh, To-do list, write that every morning so I know what to do. Uh, from here, I've got a little reading nook. This will get most of my reading done if I'm sitting in my room. And that's it. Alright guys, so back from the gym, also had something to eat and just booked a flight to Rome as well for next Monday. So actually, uh, yeah, when this video goes out, I'll actually already be in Rome. And Rome, it's, uh, Italy in general, it's always been like a goal of mine to go. Uh, I've never been to Italy and so I, I've always wanted to go, but it's always been like, too expensive and stuff like that. So uh, really glad to finally be able to go to Rome, go to Italy and uh, like, like I said, it's just a goal and it, I'm just... Like grateful that I can do this, you know, while like working because like uh, for some of you might be thinking like how do you balance like traveling and work and stuff like that. Well, I can just uh, work from my laptop. So wherever I am in the world, 
I can just, you know, all I need is Wi-Fi and a laptop and I'm sold that I can work away and actually earn money you know, while abroad. So that won't be a problem, that won't be an issue. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm just really grateful that I, I've got the opportunity to, to do this. And, you know, obviously, like, a lot of hard work goes uh, on behind the scene, like, prior to uh, being able to do all this. So I'm just, like, grateful for that and just... It's just a, a good feeling to be able to do stuff like this and actually like book like two different flights on the same day like to two complete different destinations without it like without being able without having to think about the money if you know what I mean like without having to think like you know that's gonna cost so much and stuff like that I've like, just been able to book it because I want to go there you know what I mean anyway guys um, I'm just gonna do um, just a lot of like random work just finish off some bits before. Uh, relaxing, for, like, you know, finishing off the rest of the day, relaxing. Uh, so I'm just going to wrap up this video here. Like this video if you like the vlog type video and you, and you want me to do it more often. Or, you know, let me know in comments down below if you just want me to, to stick to the informational videos, you know, whatever. Um, you know, like, you're the subscribers. You know, it's the channel based around, like, what you want. I think I said in a previous video as well, like... You know, it's all based around your needs. It's your channel as much as mine. Uh, let me know what you want to see and I will try and deliver. Anyway, like, share, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.